What if everything you've learned about mathematics and physics was incomplete? This is a question that actor Terence Howard has grappled with. Terence Howard, renowned for his performances in movies like Hustle and Flow and Crash, and TV series like Empire, is a familiar face to many. He's been graced with an Academy Award nomination, and has won a BT Award for Best Actor. Yet behind this acclaimed actor, lies a curious mind, one that has explored the realms of the unknown, challenging established norms and theories. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Howard has been on a unique quest. A quest that delves into the mysteries of hidden frequencies and alternative mathematical theories. His journey into the world of numbers and vibrations is as fascinating as it is controversial. At the heart of Howard's philosophy is his belief that 1 times 1 equals 2, not 1. A belief that contradicts the fundamental laws of multiplication we've all been taught since grade school. To him, if 1 times 1 equals 1 that means that 2 is of no value because 1 times itself has no effect. 1 times 1 equals 2 because the square root of 4 is 2, so what's the square root of 2? Should be 1 but we're told it's 2, and that cannot be. This alternative theory has stirred quite a bit of controversy. It sparked debates among mathematicians, physicists, and the general public alike, creating a whirlwind of intrigue and skepticism. Howard's theory has been met with criticism, yet it has also led to deeper discussions about our understanding of mathematics and the universe. His fascination with hidden frequencies, the space between space and Earth, and his alternative understanding of Newton's laws of motion, where all lines move in a straight line, further adds to the enigma that is Terence Howard. So, how did this journey begin for Terence Howard? Let's dive in. Howard's quest for hidden frequencies didn't emerge out of thin air. Picture a young Terence Howard, inquisitive and brimming with curiosity, nurtured by his great-grandmother, Minnie Gentry. An accomplished actress in her own right, Gentry was a beacon of wisdom and inspiration in Howard's early life. She instilled in him the importance of relentless questioning and the courage to challenge the status quo. Howard's fascination with the world was not limited to the stage or the silver screen. Early on, he showed a keen interest in the realms of science and mathematics. He was a quick learner, often outpacing his peers in understanding complex principles and theories. His mind was as analytical as it was creative, a rare blend that led him to question and explore beyond the textbook. As he delved deeper into the mysteries of the universe he encountered traditional theories of physics and mathematics. Newton's laws of motion, the concepts of space and time, the very fabric of reality as defined by centuries of scientific thought, all came under his scrutiny. But something didn't sit right with Howard. The idea that all lines move in a straight path, a fundamental principle of Newton's laws, seemed too simplistic, too fixed for his taste. He wondered why we accept such principles without questioning their limitations, without probing the possibilities beyond. His early encounters with these established theories left him dissatisfied. He felt there were gaps, unanswered questions, hidden frequencies yet to be discovered. He questioned the space between space and Earth, the unexplored dimensions beyond our perception. He couldn't accept the world as it was presented to him, and this dissatisfaction became the catalyst of his unconventional journey. His questioning spirit, kindled by his great-grandmother and fueled by his love for science and math, refused to settle for the known. He wanted to push the boundaries, explore the unknown, and challenge the established norms. His discontent with traditional theories sparked a lifelong pursuit of truth. Howard's journey took a unique turn, leading him to a concept known as the flower of life. This ancient symbol, consisting of multiple overlapping circles forming a flower-like pattern, has been a focal point in Howard's philosophical outlook. It's a simple design, yet for Howard it holds profound significance. He views the flower of life as a representation of the fundamental structures of space and time. It's a template, he believes, that uncovers the hidden frequencies of our universe. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly are these hidden frequencies Howard speaks of? Well, in the actor's own words, they're the unseen energies that bind all matter together. Think of them as the invisible threads weaving the cosmic tapestry. Howard sees these frequencies in the flower of life's geometry. He argues that each intersection of circles within the pattern signifies a tangible point in space or time, representing the interconnected nature of all things. But Howard didn't stop at theorizing. He took a step further, working diligently to patent his ideas. His goal? To offer a fresh perspective on the principles that govern our universe, challenging conventional theories such as Newton's laws of motion. In fact, Howard went on to create his own discipline, dubbed Teriology. 
It's a field where he combines his interpretations of the flower of life with mathematical and scientific concepts. He uses a unique language of symbols, each representing a different facet of his philosophy. To many, teriology may seem like an abstract concept, perhaps even a flight of fancy. But for Howard, it's a serious endeavor, a life's work dedicated to unearthing the secrets of our universe. Through teriology, Howard aims to redefine our understanding of the universe. It's a bold ambition, one that encapsulates the actor's unyielding curiosity and his relentless pursuit of knowledge. Whether or not he succeeds, one thing is clear. Terence Howard is not just an actor, he's a man on a quest, driven by a vision that extends far beyond the silver screen. As you can imagine, Howard's unconventional ideas have been met with skepticism. This is particularly true among the scientific and mathematical communities, where established theories and laws of motion are held in high regard. Critics argue that Howard's flower of life philosophy, which suggests that all lines in nature are curved and not straight, directly challenges Newton's laws of motion. But controversy is not a new companion for Howard. Despite the criticism he remains undeterred, holding steadfastly to his beliefs. His resilience is commendable, his commitment to his philosophy unshakable. He spent more than four decades researching, exploring, and seeking answers in the hidden frequencies he believes exist in the universe. Now let's ponder for a moment. What if Howard's theories were to be proven correct? The implications could be profound, potentially reshaping our understanding of the universe and its laws. It could open up a new frontier in science, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can discover. Indeed, it's a contentious debate, yet it's one that highlights the beauty of scientific exploration. It's the questioning, the challenging, the desire to understand that drives us forward. Howard's journey, controversial as it may be, embodies this spirit. It's a reminder that our understanding of the world is not static, but continually evolving. In the face of skepticism, Howard continues his search for hidden frequencies, driven by a curiosity that has marked his life journey. His path may be unconventional, it may be controversial, but it is uniquely his. And through it, he invites us to question, to explore, to seek out our own truths. Whether you agree with Howard or not, his journey invites us all to question the world around us and seek our own truths. Because in the end, isn't that what life is all about? Seeking our truths in the hidden frequencies of our own lives.